All right, special day here. We're out at the Aikenville LZ. I'm getting laid out, take off, and so are my parents. So this is the first time we'll be flying together, which is kind of cool. Actually, it's gonna be my dad. My mom's gonna be on the ground. I'll get some cool pictures of him. He'll get some cool pictures of me. Everyone's gonna have a great time. And I'll do my best to land with him so I can help take the balloon apart. But I'm hoping to give everybody as somebody who is raised with balloons and now flies paramotors, a interesting viewpoint on what I know about both. You will find a lot of balloons where you also find paramotors because they both need very light winds and they both need basically wide open spaces. But uh, there's some things you don't want to do around balloons. And we'll talk about that once we get into the air. All right, so now we're on balloon crew duty. Our balloon is made in Statesville, North Carolina. It is a balloon works or firefly, depending on who you ask, at what time period. 77,000 cubic feet, it's a pretty small one. We're just gonna pull out some fabric, help it stretch out. It's the equivalent of laying out your wing. Alright, could you be on the crown line? Sure. Thank you. This is the parachute top. Yep. Anyways, this actually seals the top of the balloon, and if you want to go down, you pull a rope that connects to all of these. Takes the top out of it. Looking good? The little bits we just put in the top hold it while the balloon is on the ground. There's no air pushing it up. And I'm going to take over from my mom, who's on the crown line. It keeps the balloon stable on the ground. So this line is really only used during inflation and deflation. Uh, inflation to keep the top of the balloon from springing up too quickly. And uh, deflation to pull the top down so it doesn't uh, end up on top of the basket. We'll just hold it steady, and I'm moving side to side to stop the balloon from rolling. It's starting to go to the left. I'm gonna pull over to the right. You'll see it kind of bob back to the right a little bit. Unfortunately, I can't get the action shot on the other side, but uh, down at the bottom, up in the mouth, my dad's gonna hit it with the flamethrower. And you're not really pumping air in with the burner. You're just heating the air that's already in there with the flame. So the fan you can hear in the background, which is a very heavy version of a paramotor, is uh, packing it cold. And now that he's given me the thumbs up, he's gonna go hot. So this whole thing will stand up. My job is to make sure it doesn't stand up too fast, but also keep enough tension on it so that uh, he doesn't get a lot of loose fabric down at the bottom. This is the holding part to make sure that the fabric stays taut. And as it starts to walk up, we'll just follow it. Once the fabric leaves the ground, you'll hear the fan turn off. Right there. And now it's all hot air.
But right now he's pulling the top out, the Velcro I just put in, to hold it while it was being cold inflated. Popping those out, now it's just hot air, so he can use the top as a valve to descend if he needs to. Good job. Now you gotta get good pictures of me because I'm not gonna get any photos from this way. I will try my best. Let's see. Okay. okay. Ready? <laughs> I like that. Here we go. Alright. For, for identification. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> that was proof that we that was proof we All right. threw the balloon out. <laughs> okay, well, let's get ready. ready I'll catch up! Well, I don't know which direction he's going to take off, but I've got to wait for him to clear, clear the area. These balloons go up, and then whichever way the wind takes them. I hope this flight will be informative for paramotor pilots looking to fly around balloons. Because there's a lot of fun to be had, and then there's a couple of annoyances, and there's a few dangers too. And they're already flying. Yep, you're definitely moving. You're definitely moving. Yeah, I'll, I'll give my best shot. I'd have to use speed bar and trims to keep up with this. So, I mean, that's that's ballooning right there. You don't feel like you're moving very fast, and you basically just kind of float with it. Sometimes you really are just floating. Clear prop! You don't want to fly over a balloon because they can't see you. That's their blind spot. Look down, they can go around the basket. Directly overhead is traffic that you cannot see. 
do not fly over the wind. But they can only go up or down. They can go up typically faster than they can go down. And if you fly over them, you catch a nasty thermal. Also, they can't see you. Balloons want to be able to see everything that's around them. They're basically just out here doing their best. I would get much more than, I don't know, 500, 600 feet. If you don't know the pilot, you haven't discussed it already. Because that's, uh, that's really about the level of comfort for what is effectively a stationary object as far as we're concerned. Something like this. So don't go directly over, don't go directly under. Woo! There's a bump. My third piece of advice for uh, a round of balloon pilot is don't do anything downwind. Balloons look stationary to us, and, and it's close to stationary, but they're moving downwind. Today, that's this direction. You don't want to be in their way. That's the direction they're moving. They don't get a choice. You don't want to do acro 300 feet over here. That's not a good idea, because they're going to be moving in that direction whether or not you realize it. Pretty self-explanatory. It, it's effectively, don't get in their way. We found some foam. So because I know they're moving downwind to what appears to be my right, and I'm gonna get a selfie with the balloon in the background, I am going to go past them upwind where they cannot be then turn around to the left to get that selfie. Right. going to leave them alone. So my fourth, fourth, I think we're not number four. Don't loiter. Uh, it's a lot like an LZ. Today is a little different because my dad's just out for a joyride, but most hot air balloonists that I know of are commercial hot air balloonists. Whether or not they're carrying a whole bunch of people, it's a different story. But most people I know that fly balloons pay for the hobby, and it is an expensive hobby, by taking paid rides. And the biggest draw of hot air balloons is quiet. Very, very silent. If you are flying super close to them their entire flight, they don't get that that solace. They are they are not gonna be super pleased if you're hanging around them dealing about that. It's cool to make passes. I actually got into paramotors because a paramotorist came and visited our balloon once. It's neat, but it's not something you want to uh, wear out your welcome with. I'm over them, and I am descending. Uh, they are descending faster than I am, but I'm not out of view of the basket. If I can see them, that means they can see me. But I'm not flying over their thermal. Interesting. Uh, we have now moved 
90 degrees from the original launch. Snap a nice one of them here. There's the chase crew. The ones are kind of weird. You, you don't steer, so you don't ever come back to where you took off. Hardly ever. Right. Yeah. Really, you can get the, the vehicle that towed the balloon there in the first place to follow the balloon, take it apart wherever you land. So basically, 99% of the time, a landing out, which seems foreign to a lot of pilots. But that's just how balloons be. Hello, golf cart person. There's the foot drag. Yes, sir. And we're not going to go downwind. Oh, looks like they're on the Or, touch down. Yep. Those landings are always kind of rough. Alright, and they're venting. They've got a big thermal over them now, and I don't want to be anywhere near it. Man, this was easy! I just told you that 99% of those guys would never get back to where they started. Here they are! Coming back to where they started. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put down and help them out. Ah, stay out of the stickers. Sloppy landing. That's okay. All right. Back to the hunter balloon stuff. One more little nudge. That's good. That's, That's good. good. Okay. You got it. All right. Pretty much kind of go that way. All right. Back on the crown line. He's venting out propane so the burner's not hot anymore. Propane's 40 degrees below zero, so that cools it off instantly. And we are going to guide the whole balloon down. He's gonna pull on that rope that opens the valve for descent. And we're gonna pull. You gotta vent more, it's almost closed. I was trying to get like zooming and I don't know what I got. It probably will look like dots. I got some cool ones of him against the lake. There's a lake? Yeah. Yeah, there's a little About a reservoir. About a mile and a half over there. Huh? One slim. <laughs> Good job navigating, Dylan. I know that was a tough one. <laughs> nope, turn around. He's going back to where he took off from. I was talking in the video. Mm -hmm. Balloons basically never go back to where they take off from 99% of the time. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> what? <Coming> back. <laughs> Three, 400 yards away? Yeah. Up in up in Battle Creek, we used a we used the trees to slow us down. Yeah, run into the trees. I was just saying how paramotors pick leaves for fun. Balloons do it sometimes out of requirement to make the field. The stakes aren't quite as high when they're going five miles an hour. By little. You got your We're doing good milking. We are. So you've never milked a balloon before, have you? I've never even milked a cow. Okay. A good cow? first experience. No. Oh man. <laughs> you've gone on a plane. You're missing out. Oh man. <laughs> We've never owned a you cow before. On any... The idea, but... Okay. Uh. Can I fix one? I got one strap left. It'll go right there. And... All right, drop it. Drop it. Go drop ahead it. And let it grow down. Uh, grab right about here. We're gonna take the fabric that way. Grab the fabric. Pick it up. Oh 
Uh, over on the yeah, over on the side there. Yeah. We're gonna walk. You asked how we put it in. This is how we put it in. No, yeah. This is good. All right, we got to disconnect. These lines are like paramotor lines to the extreme. Huh? Are these Kevlar lines? Yeah. 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 Something crazy like that. You got it? Yep. It's got a metal hoop in it. it does some weird stuff. She's a pro. She is a pro. Uh, is it not hot? No. When you saw the uh, the the smoke coming out of it, that was liquid propane, and liquid propane is 40 degrees below zero. So the oh, second so it all down. the second liquid propane started coming out, it was totally totally cold. Oop. I'll just, I got it. <laughs> Knock my glasses off. That's fine. I almost took my head off. We're good. Okay. Uh, I like to That's say, just as if we do what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to carry that all the way. I'm actually going to take right, off again down the hill. Do you want come back around and land up there. Do you want to load there. it up here? No, I'm going to take off and I'm going to go around and I'm going to land. Oh, okay. okay. It needs another landing. Yeah. Okay. But every, everyone counts. That's right. Okay. Well, that was a little hectic. We got off the ground. My mom is signaling for me to do a low flyby to the left. I will oblige. Ah, that was a little hard. We're on our feet. No biggie. Flirted a bit too early there. Whatever. <laughs> 